Yesterday when I went to Mass at 6 p.m. in Limerick in the Institute of Christ the King, they sang a, a Latin sequence, a very, very ancient Latin sequence called Dies Irae. And um, they sang it twice. It was a requiem mass. It was just beautiful, a sung requiem mass in the Vetus Ordo, in the old order of the mass that would have been celebrated for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years. Um, and as I said many times, um, you know, I'm, I'm very much of Pope Benedict's view. What previous hel generations held sacred is sacred to us and can't be all of a sudden be forbidden or considered harmful. Um, but, but never, <laughs> but never, obviously, never we go to um, traditional Latin Mass as a sign of division and never out of disobedience to our bishops, always in a sign of unity in the church, always in a sign to strengthen the church in prayer. If we're not doing that at our, at our traditional Latin Masses, if we're not strengthening the church in prayer and in unity, then uh, we're doing it wrong. And um, uh, I suppose that's come to me a lot in prayer. Um, literally, literally, our Lord has told me, do not divide the church, Robert. That's, those were his exact words to me. So quite a stern message from him one day. Don't divide the church, Robert. So I, I just, I'm just very cautious when anything I put on my YouTube channel now that I'm, that I'm, I'm doing what Christ is telling me to unite us around Christ. Um, um, but uh, yeah, I, I also have to recognize it was in the traditional Latin Mass that I was most nourished, that, that Christ really came forth to me and uh, showed me himself crucified in Calvary. And uh, so I'm not, I'm not, I'm just reflecting on my own spiritual journey here. I'm, quite chaotic spiritual journey in my life if anything else and uh, uh, like I suppose sinners are sinners you know and I'm definitely one of them don't hold myself up to be anything other than that uh, I've, I've actually written it on my arm uh, ton amartalon a sinner ton amartalon uh, kyrie jesu christe uton teu Eleison me ton amartalon, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. That's who I am, loved by God, and I recognize his mercy in my life and um, what he is asking me to do. But yesterday, uh, I was listening to Dia's Ere. It was sang twice. Now, I've read it hundreds of times. I've read that poem so many times. Sadly, it was removed um, in the last 50 years. Don't know why. One of the most beautiful sequences um, in the church. And, uh, um, you know, it was sung twice. It was sung during the Mass. I could hear it. And then Canon Le Buc came out at the end and he sang it again. And um, for some reason, I woke up this morning and I said, oh, I'll look up Dies Irae and I'll meditate on the words again. You know, why, why was it on my mind this morning? Dies Irae, Dies Irae. Dies Illa. I said, okay, well, I'll just do a video on on Dies Irae, um, um, because many Catholics don't don't know this this um, sequence that was in our liturgy for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years. It's quite it's quite an it's quite a shocking um, meditation because it's on our death. It's on the last days. It's what we will have to give account to. When we get to heaven, heaven, we will have to give account of what we have done and what we failed to do. People don't realize this. Um, God respects our freedom. God respects our freedom. and uh, But he also will ask us to give us a give account for what we did in our life. So I'm just going to go through this, this sequence. Um, you know, and just just meditate along with along with us on this. Um, so I'll I'll read it in Latin. And, uh, there's there's how many stanzas? There's twenty, twenty nine, I think. Twenty yeah, twenty nine stanzas. So I'll just go through them in Latin and uh, and the formal equivalents, and just to bring you into uh, up to educate Catholics on this um, sequence in Latin. Dies ire, dies illa. Solvit seculum in favila, teste David cum Sibylla. The day of wrath, that day, will dissolve the world to ashes. This is the testimony of David along with Sibyl. 
Quantus tremor est futurus. Quando iudex est venturus, quanta stricta discusurus. How great will be the quaking when the judge is about to come, strictly investigating all things. Tuba mirum spargent sonum, persec pulcra regionum, coget omnis ante thronum. The trumpet scattering a wondrous sound, sound through the sepulchres of regions will summon all before the throne. Mores stupebit et natura, cum resurget creatura, judicante responsura. Death and nature will marvel when the creature will arise again to respond to the judge. Liber scriptus profetura, in quo totum continetur, unde mundus iudi cetur. The written book will be brought forth, in which all is contained, from which the world shall be judged. Iudex ergo cum sedebit, quad quad latet apparebit, nil in ultum remanebit. When therefore the judge will sit, whatever lies hidden will appear, nothing will remain unpublished. Quod sum miser tunc dicturus, quem patronum rogaturus, cum vix justus sit securus. From then shall I, poor wretched, that I am, say, what patron shall I entreat, when even the just may only hardly be sure. Rex tremende majestatis, qui salvandos salvas gratis, salva me fons pietatis. King of fearsome majesty, who gladly save those fish to be saved, save me, O font of mercy. Recordare Jesu pie, quod sum cause tue vie, ne me perdas illa die. Remember, merciful Jesus, that I am the cause of your journey, lest you lose me on that day. Querens me, sediste lassus, redemiste crucem passus, tantus labor non sit casus. Seeking me, you rested tired, you redeemed me, having suffered the cross. Let not such hardship be in vain. Euste Eudex Ulcionis Donic fac remitionis Antidiem rationis let judge of vengeance make a gift of remission before the day of reckoning. In gemisco tanquam reus, culpa rubet vultus meus, supplicante parce deus. I sign, like the guilty one, my face reddens in guilt, spare the imploring one, O God. Qui Mariam absolviste, Et latronum exaudiste, mici quod quoque spem dediste. So you absolved Mary and heard the robber, gave hope to me also. Parches me non sunt digne, sed tu bonus fac benigne, non perenni cremere igne. My prayers are not worthy, but you, who are good, graciously grant that I may 
I will not be burned up by the everlasting fire. Inter ovus locum presta et ab edis me sequesta statuens in parte dextra. Grant me a place among the sheep and take me out from among the goats, setting me on the right side. Confutatis malidiste, malidictis, flamis acribus addictis, voca me cum bene dictis. Once the cursed have been silenced, sentenced to acrid flames, call me with the blessed. Oro suplex et aclinis, cord contri tum quasi Chinis, gere cura me finis. Humbly kneeling I and bowed, I pray, my heart crushed as ashes, take care of my end. Lacrimosa dies illa, qua resurget ex favila. Lu dicandus homo reus, uic ergo parce deus. Tearful will be that day on which from the glowing embers will arise the guilty man who is to be judged, then spare him, O God. Pia Jesu Domine, Dona Eis Requiem. Amen. Merciful Lord Jesus, grant them peace. Amen. So, um, the poem is a bit stark. It's a bit stark. It talks about the last things, uh, what we what we call in in Catholicism the eschatological, um, the end times, things that will happen. Um, in the church today, we don't talk about sin. We don't talk about hell. And hell is one thing that I did see, that Our Lady, Our Lord showed me. Um, because we were given freedom. You were given the freedom to walk away from Christ. And so many people have been. And Christ, of course, will be merciful. He, he, will, he will forgive your sins. He will, he, I mean, he will forgive anything. But he won't remove your will. And somebody said this to me. God is very careful about not removing a person's will. You know, they, we're not robots. God didn't create us robots. He created us with intellect and will. And the greatest gift we can give to God is to turn to him and to ask him and to be with him. That's the greatest thing. You know, to say, Lord, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. To, to give our will. To walk away from sin. Um, and this mystery is really r r extremely profound to to enter into, to think about it. And I suppose when I was just listening to Dias Irae yesterday, and uh, I didn't have my missile with me, and I said, look, I'll, I'll, I knew more or less the words, but I said I'd, I'd love to have meditated on it as during the Mass, uh, with a Requiem Mass. And uh, I said, I'll, I'll come back this morning and I said, I'll wake up and I'll do my prayer and I'll, and I'll dig out those lyrics. And I said, oh, I'll just do a video anyway. But um, to the church that thinks that everybody is saved, dare we hope all are saved. Yes, dare we hope all are saved, but don't take that for granted. Don't take that for granted. Um, you know, you are free to reject Christ you are free to reject heaven you know you, 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 we are free to turn away from God and um, and now is the time that Christ is asking us to turn to him now is the time of mercy you know I think everybody saw in Derry the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of men who went to confession practically everybody that came to that church went to confession, took advantage of Christ's mercy. Christ doesn't care what you have done. He cares about what you will do from today onwards. 
He asks us to accept his mercy, to forgive our sin, ourself, which is not easy. You know, accept that Christ has forgiven, forgiven us and to do what he is asking us to do in the church. Um, Christ is asking now that the 500 well, his blessed mother, but he, Christ will be there. He will He will be the one forgiving. Heaven, our Lord and our blessed lady, they, when our Lord said to me, he's happy with this, so that's okay. They want the 500 in Cork. They want it in a specific chapel. Um, and so we just need to pray for it. Um, because we'll all go before God. You know, I will go before God and, and God will say to me, look, I prepared you for something, Robert. I gave you clearly a message that you discerned with other people, with priests. And you didn't te- do what I asked you to do. You know, so I can't go to heaven now and present myself before Christ and say, well, sorry, uh, I just was I just couldn't be bothered to do what you said, Christ, because I said you could have chosen somebody else. No, that's I was given the message and I will say the message that I was given and the church can discern the church can discern so what does the church need to discern and what what is heaven asking for heaven is asking for men to go to adoration in Cork on the third Sunday of a specific month people can ask me for the date later and um, uh, to go to adoration from 12 to 3 to meditate on the passion of our Lord to make reparation for the sins of other men, especially the men who have fathered children who were aborted in Ireland. Um, pray the rosary, Angela's rosary, like we did in Derry. Silent adoration, no talks, no speeches, no music, silent adoration and confession. And, and like in Derry, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of men will go to adoration confession that day for hours it will happen but in but i suppose i leave it i leave it to the church to discern what is what uh, has been asked for here that we make the sign of the cross over ireland with these locations derry cork dublin galway knock and that the this will be the road to the triumph you know, this is the this is the road to the triumph. Derry understands this. I, you know, and Our Lady has been preparing uh, this for a while, and uh, so I I ask the Church to cooperate with Heaven on this. But uh, look, it'll let them discern. Let them discern. There's a reason I I'm meditating on Dia's Ire this morning, and I'm going to leave you with um, that po- that sequence song so that people can meditate on it now. God bless. Take care. Bye-bye.